Now let's transition to talking about how diet, nutrition, and weight affect arthritis. Recent research highlights the critical role that metabolic health and systemic inflammation play in osteoarthritis. Interestingly, this inflammation isn't limited to the joints alone. It involves a complex interaction between our immune system, metabolism, and other factors. Let's start by defining metabolic health. This involves crucial factors like blood pressure, blood sugar levels, body weight, triglycerides, and cholesterol levels. When these factors combine unfavorably, they form what is known as metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is characterized by a specific set of issues abdominal obesity, high blood pressure, elevated blood sugar, increased triglycerides, and low levels of HDL cholesterol. Having metabolic syndrome significantly increases the risk of developing chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular conditions including heart attacks and strokes. Additionally, metabolic syndrome is linked to other chronic issues like kidney disease and fatty liver disease. Clinical research has established a link between metabolic syndrome and the progression of arthritis. Recent findings show that individuals with more severe metabolic syndrome experience faster deterioration of their arthritis as evidenced by increased bone spurring, more significant bone marrow lesions, and more pronounced cartilage defects. So the question is, why? Why does metabolic health impact arthritis symptoms and progression so profoundly? Let's take body weight as an example. First, consider the direct impact of carrying extra weight and the mechanical stress it imposes on the knees. For individuals who are obese, every additional pound translates into three to four times that pressure on weight-bearing joints such as knees and hips. Therefore, being 20 pounds overweight means your knee joints are bearing an additional 60 to 80 pounds of pressure. This significantly accelerates the wear and tear on these joints. Now, this offers a logical reason why individuals who are overweight experience higher rates of osteoarthritis in their knees and hips, but it also raises another question. Why are these same individuals also at high risk for osteoarthritis in non-weight-bearing joints, such as the hands and the wrists? And this is where things get really interesting. Obesity is associated with chronic inflammation throughout the body. This isn't the same as the acute inflammation you get from an injury. Rather, it's a low-grade, persistent inflammation. Fat tissue or adipose tissue isn't just sitting there. It's actually quite active and releases molecules called adipokines, which circulate in your body and promote inflammation. This inflammation can affect the joints and contribute to the development of osteoarthritis. All of these effects are actually compounded and magnified when we start adding in other variables such as blood sugar, triglycerides, and cholesterol. For instance, this cohort study looked to examine the longitudinal relationship between blood glucose levels and knee symptoms related to arthritis. They found that higher blood glucose levels were associated with worse knee symptoms over the one year follow-up time period. Those with type two diabetes have also been found to have worse osteoarthritis even when controlling for confounding factors such as body mass index as well as weight. The same is true for hyperlipidemia, which is characterized by high triglycerides and high cholesterol. This cross-sectional study found that people with higher levels of fats in the blood were associated with higher rates of knee pain and worse clinical knee osteoarthritis. All of these findings support the hypothesis that systemic inflammation made worse by obesity and metabolic syndrome can contribute to the development and progression of osteoarthritis and is an important aspect of the multifactorial nature of arthritis. Okay, so if all of this is true, now let's ask the question, what happens to the body after you lose a significant amount of weight? Do symptoms related to arthritis improve after weight loss? This study looked at what happened to people's knee arthritis after undergoing bariatric surgery. This is also known as weight loss surgery in which some people can lose up to 50 to 80% of excess body weight. The researchers found notable reductions in inflammatory markers, specifically C-reactive protein as well as interleukin-6. In addition, weight loss resulted in increased biomarker levels related to cartilage synthesis, which is a positive sign of cartilage health. There was also a significant decrease in biomarkers linked to cartilage degradation. 
Again, a positive sign of cartilage health. Even modest weight loss at 5% or 10% brings considerable improvements to arthritis symptoms. This study found that losing 5% of body weight yielded slight improvements in pain, self-reported disability, and quality of life for adults with obesity and knee osteoarthritis. A 10% weight reduction had a moderate to large impact on those same outcomes. In recent years, GLP-1 agonists like Ozempic and Monjaro have captured headlines for their profound impact on weight loss. Emerging evidence indicates that these drugs can alleviate joint pain and slow the progression of arthritis through this weight loss mechanism. This study highlighted that weight reduction achieved through GLP-1 agonists led to better pain management and functional outcomes, decreased dependence on pain relief medications, and a reduced need for cortisone injections among individuals with knee osteoarthritis. Even more encouraging, MRI scans revealed slower progression of arthritis and a reduced likelihood of requiring surgical interventions. Best of all, long-term follow-up showed that these improvements were not temporary but sustained over time. So I hope it's now evident that there's an intricate link between obesity, metabolic health, and osteoarthritis. By focusing on these broader aspects of your health, you can tackle your arthritis more effectively. Now let's shift focus and explore some solutions. How can you manage osteoarthritis while also considering your overall metabolic health? First and foremost, lifestyle adjustments, particularly weight loss, can significantly impact joint health by reducing mechanical stress and systemic inflammation. A key factor in this is your diet and nutrition. Limit the consumption of processed meats and fried foods. These types of foods have been associated with triggering inflammation. Additionally, try to reduce the intake of sugary foods and high glycemic index foods. Foods with lots of added sugars contribute to the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and can exacerbate arthritis. Instead, try to focus on eating an anti-inflammatory diet. This means filling your plate with foods that have been shown to reduce inflammation and promote joint health. Fruits and vegetables are packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can help combat inflammation. When it comes to protein, opt for lean sources such as chicken, fish, nuts, seeds, and legumes. These alternatives provide essential nutrients without the added unhealthy fats and inflammatory properties found in processed meats. Healthy fats such as those found in avocados, olive oil, and fatty fish like salmon are also beneficial for managing arthritis. These fats contain omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory properties and can help alleviate joint pain. 